Hi there. In this video, we talk about skill acquisition and action capacity training. And especially, we talk about constraints-led approach. And I will get to that later on when we uh, get going. But looking at techniques and technical training, uh, there is a tendency that we want to find one right technique for a uh, problem. And of course, everyone understands that there is no such thing. Because looking at things like from a situation like this, I am here and now I try to sucker punch her. I try to do her a slap to the head. Okay, now she figured out that she will make a U-shaped turn or, or slip and punch me. Another thing she might end up doing is that, that from a position like that, she might just punch me. If that comes the most natural for her. And of course, she could also just ram into me, push away the danger, kick, hit, get out. Now, let's say that I want her to train on the U-shaped slip. I create a constraint for her because what she sees, she will act upon. And then she will find out that, okay, if I am in a body position like this, let's say her hand is here, hey, don't come any closer. And now from this position, when I do a slap here, her computer says that I cannot make a good 360 defense. I cannot make a good stepping defense. The fastest, fastest way for her to get away is to make that thing. If we change her position, say that now her hand is here, it's more straight, and her body is be like this, but just facing, face, face, facing to me. Now the situation might be different. It would be very easy for her to do that 360 defense, but then if I go into trying to hit her, she needs to have that hand coming towards me at the same time. So creating a constraint, it's not brain surgery. Thinking that if you want to get a certain result, it's easier for her to learn this when you create this constraint. And then you see that if her body is over there, that will change. If her body is more forward, it's gonna be that. This is the way you can actually do any sort of defense training or, or defenses or, or, or bear hugs or so and so and so, whatever you want. But just thinking that what is the thing that you want yourself or the person who you're coaching to achieve? Because all of the first ones that we did, if I slap her from here and she makes the defense like that, everything is correct when I don't hit her and she makes a defense that stops my attack, like she was doing here, kick, I could not continue. If she only made the hand defense like this, of course, there's gonna be another punch coming in because I'm not stopping, and that's another training mode, what we call the active attacker, so not just to stay there and be a polite attacker. Long story short, think about the constraints. What you can do to make her body be in a position that is going to be very feasible for her to act. Once she understands that this is gonna happen, or, now she did not know that. <laughs> oh, this is gonna happen. If her hand is here, and she's over there, and I do this, there's gonna be a different defense. But the thing is, that as long as we understand what we are looking for, what sort of action capacity we are building, because there is the information she sees is now transferred into action. That's the move movement. And of course, if the person doesn't know anything, it will probably look like this if you hit from there. It is something like this. And now to understand the course that I don't wanna get hit, so it's all going to be quite evasive. Go out and test. And this is all the time pushing the limits, doing it deliberately hard, looking for failure, and when it comes to the situation that you are failing more than you are succeeding, then you have to make it a little bit easier and simplify the task that you are trying to do. All right, guys, go out there, train, have fun. And of course, you can log into our YouTube channel and also to the Kramaga Coach platform where we have a lot of instructional videos 
and a lot of things that you can create constraints by training yourself. You get feedback when you're training by yourself or with your partner, and that helps your skill acquisition and that helps your action capacity acquisition as well.